What's up, family? Family! This is weird because I look at the screen, but the camera's over there. I'm not using my vlog camera. I'm actually using my iPhone right now. You know, I'm in between classes, just ate lunch. I don't know why I'm updating with y'all. It don't even really matter. I feel like I just... I need to start uploading more content because I have a lot of thoughts and you know relatively I made this channel specifically to give me the opportunity to be able to have basically a diary in the funniest aspect that you want to put it that's that's what this is you know I want to be able to look back in life and see oh man I was going through that and there's too many times where you bring out the camera just when you're happy no one really sees the whole like the bad in it you know like they think, oh, this is just this is the sunshine and rainbows. You know, life is great all the time, but it isn't. You know, I've been personally, like I've told you guys, I took a break from YouTube because I could not handle what it was doing to me mentally. You know, I was going strong. Like, it was proven, man. I jumped from 100K to almost 200,000 in just a matter of, what, a month or two? You know, I was grinding. But it got to a point where the haters really got to me and you know you put your life on the internet that's what that's what it comes with but everyone has haters in any aspect there's always people that are going to hate you for no reason you know sometimes you just look at a person you're like oh i don't like them you know just because the way they look you don't even know them they could be a great person but you just don't like them and i don't know why we're like that as humans but <clears throat> That's really how it goes, especially on the internet, especially in the realm that I'm in so far, you know, just being sneakers, people wanna hate. People wanna say, oh, you got Yeezys? Oh, we get it, you're rich. When I'm a sneaker life, you know, it's about shoes, it's about the love of the game. It has nothing to do with being rich, it has nothing to do with money, but for some reason, people wanna put that, I don't know, I don't know. But really, I made this video because there was a point where I wanted to quit YouTube, and I'm sure there's a lot of people that want to quit YouTube, you want to quit your job, you just want to quit life in general. And don't. You know, we all go through these stages in life, you change, you learn who you are, and me going to Miami and me coming back changed me completely. Boy, it is hot in here. You know, it really, it changed me so much. I don't, I don't know what I want in life anymore, you know, I feel like maybe I should go to... Florida. Maybe I should go live there. I'm actually going to visit LA. I'm going to be there next weekend. So I'm going to be visiting the OVO store, a bunch of different places. So if you're in LA and you're just wandering around, you might see me and we'll say what's up. You know, it's cool. But anyway, back to what I was saying, don't quit, you know, just keep grinding. You know, I have a friend who is currently working a job and, you know, he's sick of it. He's sick of the fact that he has a boss telling him what to do, even though he's working hard. A lot of people work so hard, but their bosses just treat them like they're a nobody and you just want to quit. And what I told him helped me. You know, me giving advice helped me because sometimes it's easier said than done. Man, it's hot in here. Whew. Colorado bi bipolar, I'm here, but. Do you guys get where I'm coming from? Like, just don't quit. Keep going. That's all I needed to hear. Because when you put the work in, you may feel underrated, but every single moment that you're putting in, positive or negative, you are basically shaping your craft of who you are, what you wanna be, and it's giving you the experience you need. <clears throat> but I really I don't know if that makes any sense you know like everyone has their time to shine you know I still feel underrated I took that break I came back with a skit that I thought was completely different if you haven't seen it I'd love for you to go check it out and give me some feedback but it was different you know I want to be different I'm tired of the same old sneaker videos you know I when I first started YouTube, it was I didn't even know anything about sneakers. You know, sneakers is what gave me a somewhat hype and fame on YouTube. People know me from that. But I want to extend to something else. It's like being trapped. <clears throat> because once you get in a certain criteria, people won't let you extend. They try to hold you in this bubble. And if you try to create, then they want to hate. So it, it, it was at a point where I could get mad love, thousands of just very 
loving comments, but that one negative comment would get to me. It's all about love. You gotta love what you do. I guarantee if you go in and rather than trying to take something, you know, greed, I definitely can say I've, I've been greedy. You know, I've been making money from YouTube. I do. I make a good amount of money too. Don't, <clears throat> it got to a point where that's all it is. Give me that check every month. I put out a video. It doesn't matter if it's good or bad. Y'all still watching. I'm still getting that check. I don't want that anymore. You know, I want to be who I am. I don't want to be this character. So expect new content on this channel. I'm reaching out on all different aspects. I'm just living life, y'all. And I hope you guys do the same. If you're going through anything, trust me, at the end of the day, it will be okay. You know, it may suck now. The last two, three weeks for me were just mad irritation i was angry about everything i've been ignoring comments i've been ignoring dms i've been ignoring messages because an ego i'm a sneaker life everybody knows i'm a sneaker life rather than hey what's up man i'm a sneaker life i got a youtube channel that i've been doing for a couple years anything you need i'm here to help you i want to get back to that person just don't let ego take over who you are as a person. Stay humble. Everything will shape up, man. One thing I learned about college basketball, it was it was tough. I look at it as a big waste of time. Maybe I could be in a different position, but everything happens for a reason. And the biggest thing that I can say that I took away from basketball, you grind, you put blood, sweat, and tears into the game. You put all the work into the game. We had losing seasons where we didn't win a game. We won one game in the whole season. And you put in work all summer. You running, you, you're doing everything you can, but you keep losing. It ain't all sunshine and rainbows. But take it as, here's, here's a funny story. You know, maybe some of you guys don't know Eric Thomas. <laughs> And he talked about the reason a golf ball is shaped the way it is. You know, a golf ball isn't completely round and smooth. It has dents in it. So the reason behind that is because the dents help the golf ball go farther. Basically, the, what is it? the analogy behind that is in life, it can't be smooth. Because if it is, you won't go as far. So each of those boundaries that you're running into or something happened tragic in your life, it's a dent. It's another dent to make you go farther in life. So take, 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 take. So take each dent as, okay, this is helping me move further. That's my rant for today, man. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys soon. It's your boy, Mike. Run it.